Hey guys, just bringing you a day in the life of me today. Uh, I put a poll up on my Instagram asking what you guys wanted to see. And for a while now, people have asked to see a full day of eating, see what I do from day to day. Um, as boring as I feel like it is being an off season bodybuilder, it's monotonous and I'm eating the same thing every day, doing basically the same things. I figured I'd just take you along for the ride. This morning I'm checking in with my coach, so I'm gonna show you my check-in process. My wife and I, my wife behind the camera, are gonna go do some fasted cardio real quick, which I don't usually do in the off season because I try to get my meals in early, but it does help me to uh, get my uh, appetite started and everything, so we're gonna do that. I'm gonna show you my meals throughout the day. We're gonna train legs later. Probably not gonna film much of that, but I'll drop pieces of that into this video too. I'm gonna show you what I do for work and coaching in between meals and everything. I'll just show you my day to day. So we're gonna go way in now and then I'll show you my check-in process. So on a check-in day, the first thing I do before anything is come and weigh myself, tell my clients this is what I would like for you to do, regardless of what you have to do in the morning, just wake up to make sure you get this done, get your fasted pictures and type through your uh, check-in template. So I make sure that I don't weigh sometimes with clothes and sometimes without, so I always just weigh in my trunks. And I was light last night, so I'm probably gonna be lighter now. And Gilligan wants to weigh in too. So 270.2, I'm down a couple pounds since last check-in, but that's okay. Feel a little bit tighter, so we'll take pictures and see. All right guys, so I'm gonna show you my quirky check-in process that I always use. Um, I wanna make sure everything's super consistent. I send my pictures to my coach the same way every week, um, and I'm sure that helps out my coach Chris so he can accurately um, see what's going on as opposed to, oh, this week I've got different lighting, this week's a mirror picture. It's gotta be consistent, put the phone in the same spot. Everything needs to be consistent, so I'm really particular. I used to set my phone up on this uh, stool that we used to have and we got rid of it. So I just found the closest thing that was that height. So I use a suitcase every week and I know it's stupid, but I'm really particular about everything being consistent. And if any of you guys have an Apple Watch, this is super helpful for your check-ins. Um, you can set a camera up and then use this camera right here and click this and in three seconds it'll take a picture. So that's what I use. If you don't use that, what you can do is you can set up, do your poses um, on a video. Some of my clients do that and then they'll screenshot it to me and send, or screenshot it and send it to me. So um, I'll do that sometimes as well. But you'll notice when I'm doing these, I'm clicking my Apple Watch and setting up into my pose. Um, and so that's how I do things. Typically in the off season, I don't run through all my poses. I'll just hit a front relax, front double, side chest, uh, back double, ab and thigh, and a most muscular. So that's what I'm gonna do here. And then we're gonna get to some fasted cardio right after this, and I'm gonna fill out my check-in template while I do that. All right, so headed to do fasted cardio. Thankfully, we have a an apartment gym. It's actually a two floor apartment gym, literally right next to our buildings back there. And this building right here is the apartment gym. So we're really lucky with that. Uh, it's a little chilly outside, so not super comfortable doing cardio outside. And we can walk on the incline treadmill. So that's what we're gonna do. Next time I see you guys, I will be preparing meal one. All right guys, so we just got back from fasted cardio and I'm gonna show you my morning routine. I'm not gonna video me cooking everything, but I'll just show you what I eat. So this is my morning health supplement routine. 
Um, I take some other stuff at night and I'll show you that later before my last meal. So vitamin D3 and K2, very important. Um, if you don't take vitamin D3, you need to, which we're always running out. So here's another one. Um, I take three caps of um, fish oil. This is a little higher on omega-3s. Um, there's a bunch of different quality fish oils. This one's on the higher quality side. Um, I just take 6,000 milligrams a day, so some of them are a little bit expensive to be taking that much. Also take curcumin for joints, uh, NAC or NAC, this is a great antioxidant, um, and it really helps with immune support as well as uh, liver. And then, you know, I'm 270, I'm 270 plus pounds right now, so blood pressure is important for me to be in control of so this is a great product i'm very in tune with my health always getting blood work done always making sure those bases are covered so that's something i'm really big on so this is my morning routine then i have my evening health health subs as well and then the most important part is 20 minutes before my first meal cutting it a little close this time I do two caps of Condemned Labs Humuslin. This is the most important part for me because it gets my digestion going in the morning. Um, it also helps with how many carbs I eat. You're gonna see how massive my breakfast meal is, but that's gonna help with digesting the meal as well as keeping my blood sugar steady and just getting me going for the day because I've got a lot of food to eat in the next several hours. So I'll show you guys my meal, meal one next. All right guys, so this is my meal one. I do this meal every day, whether it's a rest day or a training day. So I've got 350 grams of egg whites, um, two English muffins and two whole eggs. So I make like English muffin egg sandwiches. We got 90 grams of oats, 110 grams of apple, or I'll do uh, 75 grams of banana. Um, today I did apple and then we got 20 grams of peanut butter. And then I'm big on making my food taste good in the off season. So there are certain things that I'll use in the off season that I don't use in prep. So for instance, like ketchup, even though it's no sugar out of ketchup, there's still some sugar in there, some calories. I wouldn't use this in prep. I'm gonna put that on my egg whites. And I also wouldn't use this in prep. Once I get in prep, sometimes I'll use Walden Farms, but I cut that like six weeks out. But this is just a sugar-free maple syrup. Um, so there's only five calories per serving. So I'll put that in with the apples and oats. So this is the first meal getting kind of a late start. So I'm going to be cramming meals today. May get a little rough, but this is what we're starting with. Then I'll see you guys on meal two. All right guys, so I've been doing some work on the computer. Um, got a little behind, so I'm going to be pushing the next few meals together. It's about one o'clock. Usually I get this meal in two hours ago, but we're late today. It is what it is. This is meal two. So what I've got here is I've got 370 grams of rice, um, 200 grams of chicken, and then 10 grams of olive oil, same as 10 mLs of olive oil. Then we've got uh, five ounces of orange juice. So it's getting pretty challenging to get my food down to say the least right now. Um, and something a lot of bodybuilders will do, a lot of coaches will do. Um, when you're pushing in the off season and you're staying relatively lean, like I keep tightening up to be honest. So throwing in something like juice, that's something you can employ as well. So I have orange juice with this meal to add some carbs. And then something I'm using for this meal is um, G Hughes sugar-free mango habanero. If you live around my area in Asheville, you'll notice this is super hard to find. You can find the barbecue sauces and like Polynesian sauces and stuff like that pretty easily. But these are usually like up north or in Florida or wherever else, but here. So I was lucky enough to one of my buddies, Mike Murray, shout out to him. He sent us some sauces. So thank you for that, bro. I'm going to get this meal down, do some more client work, and then we'll show you meal three next. All right, guys. So been doing a lot of client work. One of the things about working from home is that when you're trying to eat as much food as I'm eating, um, your digestion sucks when you're just sitting around. So about to go for a walk. Looks like Ginger wants to go for a walk too. Is that what you wanna do? Just kidding, she's super lazy. But gonna go for a walk, come back and get meal three in. All right guys, so we're back for meal three. This is basically the same exact thing as last meal. 
I'm just gonna be using different options for it. So um, I'm gonna show you my uh, Szechuan sauce recipe, whatever you wanna call it. It's a little stir fry I make, helps the food go down easier. Um, not as prep friendly um, because there is some sugar in this, uh, but if you don't use a lot, it's not that bad. I actually got this from John Meadows. It's zero calories per serving, but we all know that's not always accurate if you know about the FDA and nutrition. Anyways, so we've got 370 grams of jasmine rice, 200 grams of chicken. For this meal, I'm gonna do spinach, and I'm gonna cook this in the pan. The pan's heating up right now. We're gonna stir, stir fry everything together. I'm gonna use cashews as my fat source, and then again, we're gonna do five ounces of orange juice. So this is another like somewhere around 1,000 calories for this meal. Um, and we're gonna flash it in the pan over there and hopefully it goes down easily because I gotta eat pre-workout in like less than two hours. So I'm gonna get this going, show you guys what I do. You can get this at most stores now. Uh, I get it at Ingalls. If you live anywhere close to an Ingalls, if you live further away from North Carolina, you have no idea what I'm talking about. But um, it's just this Sanjay gluten-free Szechuan sauce and it tastes amazing. So. I'll show you guys what I do with that. So got our meal prepared. Uh, we've got the cashews on top there, it's 20 grams of cashews. And uh, I've got my orange juice, five ounces here. So gonna throw this meal down, meal three. And then in a couple hours, we're gonna hit that pre-workout meal, then go train some legs. Hey guys, so leg day pre-workout meal. This is my pre-workout meal every day. I've eaten the same thing just in different amounts for probably the past two years, pre and post workout. I'm almost sick of it, but not quite. So cream of rice is like the easiest digestible thing for me, as well as whey protein. So what I've got here is 122 grams of cream of rice, 75 grams of banana, and 30 grams of peanut butter. And then I'm gonna use my sugar-free maple syrup again, like I did this morning um, with my oats. I don't go crazy on it. For a while I was measuring how much I was using just to make sure I didn't use too much. Won't use more than like 20 grams, um, which I think a serving is like 30 grams, 30 mLs. So what we're gonna do as well is two scoops of commissary whey protein. Something I love about this whey protein is that it has digestive enzymes in it. So a lot of people complain about whey protein sitting heavy on their stomachs, not digesting well, not agreeing with them. Well, something amazing about this is the digestive enzymes it has in it to help it digest properly. So I have always really enjoyed this and chocolate's my favorite flavor. So if you go to condemnedlabs.com and use my code HUTCH10, you can get you some of that. So we are eating this about 90 minutes prior to training. And then we're gonna go and hit some legs and I'll film some of that for you guys too. Then we're gonna come back and eat pretty much the same thing. So we'll see you guys in here. All right, so about to go train legs. Um, this is my pre-workout stack for legs. We've got lockdown by Condemned Labs and Convict by Condemned Labs. Um, leg day, I usually go a little bit heavy arm stimula stimulant, so uh, usually I only do one scoop of Convict. On leg day, I'll do like a scoop and a half, maybe a scoop and a quarter, and then a scoop and a half of Lockdown. Um, this is the red raspberry flavor. My favorite is orange mango, but red raspberry is awesome too. And then we've got Fruit Punch locked down so I'm gonna do a scoop and a half of that. I would usually do DNA dispatch but on days that I'm training legs it's just too much pump in my quads so it's better that I don't. And then um, I do two grams of pink Himalayan sea salt. 
So this is what I like to do for legs. All other days, I'm gonna add DNA dispatch in there just to get a crazy pump. But for the sake of being able to actually finish the workout, because it pumps my quad so crazy much, I just can't do it on leg day. But all other days I use that. So we're gonna get this down, um, go train, and I'll see you guys in a bit. So back from training legs, it was brutal. Uh, had to crawl out of there, but now we need to recover. So got basically the same meal as before. It's 122 grams of cream of rice, 75 grams of banana, but we've got 20 grams of almond butter instead of 30. That way there's less fats in the post-workout meal. So your meal process is a little quicker. Then we've got two scoops of whey, same old basic stuff. If you guys want to see the recipe and how I make this, I do have a couple videos on my Instagram, so check that out or DM me and I can send it your way. So then after this, I'm going to show you my last meal, which is the most interesting meal. So see you guys in a minute. All right. So before we go into what's on my last meal, I'm just going to show you guys my nighttime supplements, what I take before I start eating my last meal. So some of these things are the same as the morning. I still do my curcumin. I believe it's 500 milligrams of curcumin, then I do my NAC again, 600 milligrams of that. I'm gonna do another 3,000 milligrams of fish oil. I'm gonna take another 5,000 IU cap of vitamin D3. And then we're gonna do nephrogen again for blood pressure. Now the supplements I do at night that are different, I take cardotone, cardiovascular support. It's gonna help me with blood pressure as well. This is really awesome if any of you guys have a little bit higher blood pressure when you're getting heavy. And then something that's great for sleep, great for a lot of different things, really important for your body, but I like to take it before I go to bed because it does help with sleep is magnesium. And this is 400 milligrams of magnesium in the form of glyconate. So that's what I do every night. And then I'm gonna eat my last meal. All right guys, so finally getting the last meal in. It's pretty late. Just after 12, I don't like staying up this late, but my day got started late, so usually it ends late with meals when that's the case. But this is my favorite meal of the day. Usually the last meal of the day is the hardest because I've had five meals that are really big meals and I don't want to eat a lot of food right now. But me and my coach, Chris Tuttle, uh, he gave me this idea and we kind of were trying to brainstorm on what would be easier for me to eat as my last meal. So what we started doing is tacos. So obviously this isn't prep friendly. This is not something to do during prep, but when you're in the off season and it's get calories in and get the right macros in, sometimes you need to improvise. So what I'm doing here is I've got flour tacos or flour taco shells. Um, and I do three of these that are 140 calories, 24 carb, uh, 24 grams of carbs each. And then what we're doing is 145 grams of 93.7 beef, which I just made with this taco seasoning that my amazing wife found that is really good. Uh, doesn't upset my stomach because some 
are just too heavy on garlic and give you acid reflux and stuff, which is not good. Then 145 grams of beef is not a lot of beef. The reason we were able to go lower with beef is because my sour cream is 0% fat Greek yogurt. So that's giving me more protein so that I can back off the beef, getting some extra fat from the taco shells. Um, and then we got 120 grams of jasmine rice. And then for my veggies and to put on the tacos, we've got a little bit of chopped lettuce. I'm not putting all these tomatoes on. I just don't like to chop them every night. So we got tomatoes going on there too. I'll show you guys a little quick video of me making them. Um, and then we'll go into eating them. So if you made it this far, you made it through a full day of eating with me, and it's pretty late. I shouldn't be going to bed this late, but like I said earlier, when my day starts late, it ends late. It's a lot of food to get in. It's a lot of stuff in my day. I'm definitely working on getting a better schedule now that I'm a full-time coach at home and full-time bodybuilder. So it's honestly sometimes easier when you have a regular job and you've got certain times at your job that you get meals in and um, now that I don't have that, I'm trying to work into my own regular schedule. So, um, I appreciate whoever's watched this long. I feel like it's kind of boring. The meals that I have to eat as a bodybuilder is nothing really that interesting to me, but a lot of you guys have seemed pretty interested in what I do and what I eat day to day. So that's what a typical day for me looks like. I'm sure I'll do more videos like cheat meals and training and extra life stuff. So if you guys want to just like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, I'm definitely going to be putting more content up here and hopefully getting more professional content because I did this all on my phone. Hopefully it turns out okay. So um, I appreciate you guys and I'll catch you next time.